tattoos, uh, which is something uh, Rene rejects uh, because he is also conflicted about his faith, about his uh, about his religion, um, because he feels bitter about loss of opportunities, thinking that um, it was his uh, conflict against the church that that um, uh, that prevented him to to pursue his happiness. Uh, how you doing? I, um, yeah, I really enjoyed the film quite a lot, and the, set, and the setting was like really striking, with the, especially the last shot with the palm tree. So could you talk about like what part of Philippines this was filmed? Because usually the Filipino films that we see here are usually in Manila. You, you don't really get to see like other parts of, of the country so much. Yeah, um, this, uh, well, well, in scouting for locations, the first uh, order of the day for us was to look for Renes house. Uh, because Rene's house, I think, is a character in itself. It's a direct reflection of, of uh, Rene's big outlook in life. And once we found that house, it was only uh, it only made sense for us to look for the other locations nearby. And uh, we found the house in uh, San Pablo Laguna. It's a provincial it's a provincial town in in the outskirts of, of Metro Manila. Uh, yes, in, all the way in the back. Yeah. You mentioned something about the government and the cinemas, and in relation to that, I'm wondering who, what film the Philippine, uh, I don't know whether you have an academy or, or a group of filmmakers that submits for academy consideration for the Foreign Film Award, and I was wondering whether you, whether it's politics or, because I can't see anything from the Philippines that could possibly compete with this. But you're in luck, Marilyn, because this is their submission. Is it? To the Oscars, yeah. I'm thrilled. I'm an Academy member and I vote. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry, what was the question? <laughs> I, I wanted to know whether you had submitted this for Academy consideration, whether, because usually, or whether the government and politics because only one film from every country can be submitted and okay. I just was wondering what film from the Philippines was the film because I can't see anything that could beat this. Oh, this is a wonderful, much. wonderful thank film. You. Wow, wow. Thank you Spectacular. Thank you. Um, well, um, well, we just found out uh, several weeks ago that the Film Academy of the Philippines chose Bajau as the Philippine Oscar uh, entry. Uh, it, 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 it was really a surprise for me. I did not expect that something, this film which I made for a very personal reasons would, would resonate uh, with so many people uh, getting by to all these festivals and and now uh, it's been announced as the Philippine Oscar entry. I mean, how crazy is that? First of all, on behalf of the Filipinos in the audience, we, I, I would, I'd like to congratulate you. And you. Uh, two small questions, uh, like what kind of conversations did you have with uh, Eddie Garcia over the character? Um, so, you know, internalizing it uh, on, the, uh, on his part. And second question is, uh, how did you deal with the stereotypes of, of, of you know, of gay portrayals? Yeah, and because yeah, they, have, okay. they have all these stereotypes yeah. in the, in, in, uh, among Filipinos. And how did you work around that? Okay. Um, well, with with Eddie Garcia, uh, from the very first meeting, he was fantastic. He immediately transformed in, into an act. And I think the great thing about Eddie Garcia is that he is a director. He is a filmmaker himself, so he understood where I wanted to to take the story. And I'm not sure if he completely agreed with all my decisions, but he is a professional, true and true, and he respected me as his director. Uh, well, with regards to um, the stereotypes, um, I guess you could call, for example, the characters of, of Sally and, and uh, Tracy stereotypes. But in writing their characters, I was really, I just really tried to be very honest and, and true and just followed my instinct. Uh, I felt that um, 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 
I thought that, that uh, a stereotypical character like Saudi, a flamboyant gay character like Saudi, is possible for for him and and Rina to to be friends. I, I it, when I mean when I when when I wrote this this script, when I wrote the characters, I just really tried to be very honest uh, with and just try to I mean I just really tried to to stay true to to, to my vision. I, I never thought of them as 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 uh, um, stereotypes. Uh, following up on that, following up on that on that uh, response, the the two queens in the film, uh, you walk a very delicate line between stereotype and real people. And I just it, in films that we've seen from the Philippines, the effeminate homosexual is represented in a quite broadly. In this film. Um, you have two queens, if I may say it that way, um, who are really human beings, and I just wonder how you kept, pulled them in, and didn't become exaggerated. Um, you know, I have a, I have a 90-page character sketch of Renee, and that was the basis of the screenplay. And in that uh, character sketch, for example, it tells the story, the backstory of, of Renee and, and, and Saudi. Um, in that backstory, uh, I think uh, as an artist, all you got was this one piece of dialogue from Saudi that said that he and Rene were childhood friends. But in my character sketch, uh, it uh, not only were the childhood friends, but they were friends. When they went to the same school for ten years. Their their mothers were best of friends, uh, practically sisters. And um, I, in later in life, when when uh, Saudi wanted to put up his own beauty salon, it was Rene. Who gave Saudi the money to to realize that dream, and so you understand why Saudi is uh, so loyal to Rene. But these are things that you don't see in the film, and, and I, I don't think you have to see them in the film. Uh, they are implied uh, through this, uh, hopefully, and hopefully through the wonderful performance of of Eddie Garcia and and uh, Saksi Topasho. Uh, you would get that sense of familiarity, that the sense of closeness of of these two friends. Um, so. Um, in answering your question, um, you, 